Good afternoon. So everybody's up after like heavy lunch. Okay. So so today I'm going to represent on mobile first approach the key to cross platform interface design. Myself Vivek Parihar, I don't waste time on much to telling about myself. You can connect me on my Twitter like handle at the at B Parihar. So I can like take this time to really cover my topics. So the first thing that I we always try to talk about uh, mobile first. So why mobile first? So before going ahead, we can uh, really let's see some static that I really gather from a lot of uh, lot of like uh, Google, uh, sites like Google, Flickr, and uh, uh, like these big sites. So 75 percent of mobile users use their mobile for shopping. Like a lot of like like uh, shopping we are doing from like all the, from our mobile phones right now. 56% of people own a smartphone out of total the phone that is have like have been sold out till now. 75% of mobile users respond to mobile optimized site when they are making any purchase. So that means for any e shops or e cart, it's very important they have their mobile that has to be opt or like uh, site has to be optimized for mobile. 99% of smartphone users daily check their web browser on their phone. By 2014, mobile internet usage will overtake desktop internet usage. 80% of time on mobile is spent inside the app. So all these statics is clearly giving an indication that web is exploding out of computer shaped boxes and coming to the mobile as well. And mobile is becoming very integrated part for any web app or or any application that is used by end users so it's so that that's really a good good part to start to and start thinking towards mobile first approach and if you see like how many devices that are in sold a smartphone every day is like 1.3 million uh, it's huge android and ios devices alone are being sold every day every day we are not talking about any like Black, blackberry and nokia it's just alone android and ios market 91% of people on earth have mobile phone. That's quite amazing. 50% of mobile phone users use mobile as their primary internet source. So, so like half of the people are already using internet on their mobile browser on or itself a mobile app or inside the app. And yeah, this is a common syndrome that every each of us have this syndrome that we try to have their mobile or tablet, all these gadgets. Uh, like in uh, in our in our reach by 24 into 7 every time every minute we keep checking our mobile okay what happened what's the mail what's uh, what facebook status what what is the what is happening on twitter so so this is the this is the the changing behavior of users and users the everything is becoming very handy every day everyone wants to be things very fast and quick the uh, while coming to bangalore like when i uh, board a cab the cab driver asked me sir can you please uh, like check a status of a train for me from Pune to Delhi. It's very urgent. So can you give me that? Like, uh, can you check me for it? So while I'm driving, okay. I said, yeah. I, why, why cannot? But the important part is I don't have any like any uh, these uh, clear trick make my trip or ICTZ mobile app. But what I have, I have my browser with me, and I just quickly open it and I type clear my trip, clear trip. Sorry, make my trip. I just saw. so cleartrip.com. <laughs> Sorry, clear trip if anybody is there. <laughs> so the good thing is that the moment I type it out, it just show me only four or five list of uh, like uh, what you can say tab or uh, buttons in which I found a train and I just click on it and I just navigate to the like page where I can just uh, like type down my start destination on a source and a date and that's all. Boom, everything is done. I just told her like what is the availability, what is the next train. And that's done. It's quite easy, correct? So everything is becoming very handy. So okay, so this is the part that why mobile first. But when we are approaching towards this mobile first approach, so we always like come up with a question like, what is the first thing that end user wants to see when they are coming through mobile or through any app on our application? So it should be the core idea with the principal highlight, what we are going to highlight and the idea that we want or we are going to sell in our app. Users should be able to interact, consume, action, amount, uh, action upon that core idea using a mobile phone. 
what happened like let's say like if we are if we given like huge number of like content to the user at that time only so you just because the screen size is very small and we cannot uh, think that user can really determine what, where to click and where to go so we have to very minimize the like just user interaction for that and we have to concentrate on the primary use cases so what are the use cases of our application so we have to focus on that only and just make the priority okay these are the like my primary goal of my application these are my secondary and these are my third flesh out the most important feature or content and make sure that the user see this at the first thing that i at a, uh, that i'm tell, telling the clear trip when I, I the moment i just type clear trip.com it just show me four tabs what i want flight search train search bus search or hotel search so it's a very nice please the content that is closest to conversation so it's it means that what is the conversation what what we are trying to convey to the user so if the conversation is matching is it or not let's say if, if somebody is like uh, like when i type like click on the like on a train search and if you are also showing like what are the suggestion for this uh, train search they are showing suggestion for flight like these are the good flight deals so this is like very wrong conversation that is happening there facilitate user by providing proactive input inputs using exclusive native hardware so as we are moving to the mobile so we can use lot of mobile features mobile native hardware features that can really help us think if we are using four square on our desktop correct so it doesn't make sense out of there so the on mobile if we are using four square it very easy to just click and snap and upload it and okay i am here thank you whatever it is precise direction or question to minimize user effort so the movement it should be very streamlined when i click when i like drop to the website or web app i click on something and i got something that has to be very particular about what i what what i'm trying to convey so these are the question that always keep keep coming to our like uh, keep coming to our mind what how we can really achieve this okay second thought is is it better to uh, like it, it is a better approach towards responsive design so yeah it's it's very important that uh, that we have to understand responsive web design and like it's good but it doesn't work for each and every type of application because let's say responsive web design doesn't work for clear trip why because the, the the input box is very small user cannot type it out there correct so we have to have very precise mobile site that is optimized for a user for mobile app itself so i don't want to cover this topic because it's already covered in like workshop by upon so yeah mobile first philosophy allows us the use of new capabilities like touch gesture geo location barcode camera front and back gyroscope accelerometer ambient light sensor bluetooth and nfc and audio so these are the like example that i'm telling how how can we use touch gesture geo location for four square tender barcode we can use like qr code uh, droid for skype and for nearest tube is like a augmented reality application facebook paper that is something new that is happening accelerometer run keeper and a historic uh, historical landing game that is very old and very popular game bluetooth so you can easily send your file around a uh, lot people around you audio like again the skype and other thing so that there are three basic fluid interface one is like native mobile site and responsive site so native you can see like how how it is really different from the uh, from the native and the desktop site different from user so we are really focusing on very important part of it but it's very important we don't just go for only native application we might want to use a mobile site as well because in this case mobile site is very very useful because you can just directly go to the mobile web and type it clear make my trip and that's all response site do work well with when you have any content like any news or blog sites so now no second part is very important that is optimized content structuring so we can have limited the size of screen so call for relevant or optimized content layout so what we can do like, like we can really understand gesture and behaviors menu and navigations scrolls and accordions progressive disclosure of content uh, carousels and avoid using videos when we are using a lot of mobile apps and do away with the pop-ups we don't have to use pop-ups when we are uh, building anything for our mobile site like these are the behaviors that you can see carousels menu navigation the tab one Scrolls and accordions. Yeah, thank you. I think I covered it in 15 seconds. Okay, any questions? I just really like fast because I have a very limited time. So I do have still time. Yeah, any questions?
See, it depends. Like how much you want to customize the responsive side, correct? So it would be easy because you can really uh, describe the content. Okay, when you're doing a particularly mobile site for your application, correct? As I show you, like for the clear trip, correct? Or the make my trip as example. So you can do like you can have a responsive site for that as well, but the user behavior is very very vague for that because you want quick search and fast. The application has to load very fast. The response time should very fast because the average response like user can wait for more not more not more than three or four seconds, correct? So it's very important we have to really understand that perspective as well. Just response we don't have to just go with the like RWD always. We have to think what is the use case, how it can really. Uh, make our life better when we are using any mobile set or have to use uh, like the RWD. Thank you. Okay, okay thank you guys.